Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to Action for Healthy Kids Wednesday Wellness Webinar. We are going to give attendees about two more minutes to join us, and we will get started at about two minutes after the hour. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks so much for joining us today. Today's webinar is Healthy Celebrations Are More Fun, and it's part of Action for Healthy Kids Wednesday Wellness Webinar Series that takes place on the second Wednesday of each month throughout the school year. My name is Carol Muller, and I'm the State Director of Action for Healthy Kids in Colorado. Uh, our team here works with schools, districts, and other partners to implement policies and practices to improve nutrition and physical activity in schools. I also work with our national organization to develop strategies for engaging parents into school health and wellness efforts. And today I'm also really pleased to have uh, April Walden with us. She's a parent champion from Laurel Elementary in Northern Colorado, and she is gonna share a Healthy Celebrations initiative that she helped to lead in her children's school. You can see um, her son there on the screen. That's a great picture, uh, April. We, uh, I will tell you a little bit more about April later, and um, I'll introduce her right before her presentation. Her school is in Action for Healthy Kids Wellness Kit Program in Colorado. So more to come uh, from April later. So let's review some logistics before we get started. You should see a, a control panel on your screen. Usually it's on the right side. You can use your telephone or speakers to listen to the presentation, but uh, know that everybody will be muted to avoid static and background interference. You should see a dialog box at the bottom of your control panel. You can type questions into the uh, box as we're going along. And Denise Marcus from our Colorado team is also sitting in on the webinar and she'll be fielding any questions that come in. If we don't get your questions answered during the presentation, uh, we'll be sure to follow up with you via email following the webinar. The webinar is being recorded. We'll send out links to the recording, the slides, and the resources that we mentioned. Uh, about two to three business days after the webinar to the email address that you registered with. So let's start with a little background on our organization. Action for Healthy Kids is a national nonprofit that fights childhood obesity, undernourishment, and physical inactivity by helping schools become healthier places. We're a network of parents and students, educators, community leaders, and health professionals, and we work with schools and districts all across the country to create healthier learning environments for our children. We really believe that everybody has an important role to play in ending the nation's childhood obesity epidemic, and we have lots of great resources to help make that possible. Game On is our flagship program. It's online. There's no cost for schools to use it, and it can be tailored to meet your community's specific needs and resources. Game On helps schools practice good nutrition and physical activity habits with the ultimate goal of getting your school nationally recognized as a health promoting school. The program is organized into six steps. Step one focuses on gathering a school health team. Step two focuses on completing an assessment like the school health index to determine your strengths and your areas of opportunity. 
Step three focuses on developing an action plan in order to have a clear roadmap for your school wellness initiatives. Uh, step four includes more than 80 activity ideas in two major categories, eating better and moving more. Step five provides ideas for engaging parents, community organizations, and other volunteers in your efforts. And finally, step six helps your school uh, get national recognition for your school wellness achievements. Now, your team can jump into the program at whatever step really makes the most sense for your school, or just use Game On for the ideas, resources, and best practices found in step four. So one major goal of Game On is to get your school nationally recognized. Uh, awards and recognition really will help to cement your school's wellness identity, which can be used as a marketing tool for your school. And any positive recognition that your school rece receives is really is likely to leave your school community wanting more. So awards and recognition will put your school health initiatives in a favorable light. One of these programs is the Healthier U.S. School Challenge Smarter Lunchrooms Initiative. And uh, that program recognizes schools that have created healthier school environments through the promotion of both nutrition and physical activity. Schools apply to the initiative, and when they're awarded, they receive funding that ranges from $500 to $2,000, depending on the level of award that they've applied for. There are a whole host of other benefits, too. Uh, some of those are listed there on the screen. Uh, and Action for Healthy Kids has staff all over the country who can help you complete the application. So be sure to reach out to us or go to directly to step six of Game On to see the resources that we've created to help you get recognized. So today's uh, wellness webinar is, is about healthy school celebrations. And most of the strategies that I'll discuss can be found in step four of Game On, specifically in uh, the activity called Healthy and Active Classroom Parties, or in some of the resources that are linked through that activity. But um, I've put some other Game On activities on the screen, and, and really there are a lot more that you could peruse to find lots of ideas that could be used for healthy school celebrations, because um, they really weave through so many different aspects of a school's culture. So let's get started on healthy celebrations. Uh, from birthday to holiday parties throughout the school year, children and teachers have so many different reasons to celebrate. And they're a great way for kids to feel part of the school community where the learning environment is made festive and where children, teachers, and parents can come together to enjoy a break from the, from the normal routine. But traditionally, school parties center around food such as cupcakes, cookies, candies, chips, uh, sweetened beverages like punch. While these foods in moderation can be part of a healthy, well-balanced diet, uh, unfortunately, these unhealthy choices have almost become daily norms in the classroom rather than exceptions. To take a look at some of these facts on the screen, the American Heart Association recommends that children ages two through 18 consume less than six teaspoons of added sugars per day. Yet, on average, U.S. children consume 19 teaspoons of added sugar daily, and those are largely from soda, fruit-flavored drinks, sports drinks, cakes, and cookies. A study in the Journal of Nutrition, Education, and Behavior showed shows that kids can consume easily as many as one quarter to one third of all the calories they need in a typical day at a typical classroom birthday party. And those calories are coming from foods high in fat and sugar and low in nutrients like those already mentioned. Uh, so when you have multiple holidays and birthday celebrations each year, it really can add up. Plus it teaches kids to associate celebrations um, and happy times primarily with those, those unhealthy kinds of foods. Healthy celebrations, on the other hand, provide consistent positive nutrition messages. They promote a healthy school environment and they can create excitement about nutrition. And studies show that better nutrition leads to better academic performance at well. So, how can your school make the switch to healthy celebrations? Uh, well, here are 10 steps that uh, Action for Healthy Kids has put together that you should consider taking to make sure that your efforts are going to be more sustainable. Uh, first, review your district's wellness policy. It should include information about what can be served during school parties. Use your policy as your guide and as a platform to promote healthy celebrations. Uh, then take inventory. What does your school currently celebrate? How do celebrations happen and how often do they occur? Uh, when you're taking inventory, consider school-wide and classroom-level celebrations. 
make your case to your school administrators then and, and get their support. Uh, meet with your staff, meet with your school parent group and students for feedback and to brainstorm ways to get buy-in. Talk about the need and the benefits with all of these groups. Uh, and then commit to healthy celebrations with your school community and, and do it in writing. Add language to your school handbook and to your website. Uh, next, uh, ask school staff to make a pledge to have healthy celebrations. Uh, you see we have a template there, it's, uh, it's um, right there on the screen. You can download this from Game On and you can uh, use it and adapt it in, in any way that would work best for your school. And then how about families? Send home a letter that informs parents of healthy celebrations and provides concrete, healthy ideas that they can use to celebrate their child's birthday and other holiday parties at school. We have a template in English and Spanish uh, that you can customize with your school's letterhead and your own guidelines. Uh, and then also consider asking students for input on their favorite fruits and vegetables. Uh, a great way to kick things off is to plan a healthy food taste test or another community event to jumpstart the initiative and to get your community behind it. Uh, and then be sure to share healthy celebration ideas with staff at the beginning of the school year. You can present at staff meetings. You can uh, send staff-wide emails. How about creating a healthy celebrations folder on your shared drive and putting tip sheets into their mailboxes to communicate the message. And last but really important, uh, know that sustainable change happens slowly. If you get significant pushback um, from parents or staff on you know, removing those unhealthy items from your parties, um, go slowly and focus on just changing one to, one to two school-wide celebrations during the first year and then try building from there. So let's dive into some of those healthy celebration ideas, uh, starting with birthdays. Uh, there are so many ways to make a birthday child feel special without serving unhealthy treats, and they don't even have to involve food at all. Uh, being the teacher's helper or having special activity time with an adult, uh, let the birthday child choose a game or activity for the entire class to do. If parents want to bring in something for their kid's birthday, you can ask them to donate a favorite book to the classroom library instead of bringing in treats. And uh, if in your community that's not economically feasible for your families, uh, just have the birthday child pick a book from the classroom library for the teacher to read to the class. Uh, take a look at, uh, there's a little uh, a photo and a little blurb on screen about um, a parent champion we have here in Colorado who led a project. Uh, she provided each classroom with a birthday box uh, that had um, things inside of it that the child could, um, you know, wear or get dressed up in to make um, the child feel special on their birthday. Another thing to think about is how often birthdays are being celebrated in the classroom. Uh, if, if you're celebrating individual birthdays uh, every day or many days, uh, try hosting a monthly birthday celebration instead of individual ones, particularly if you get pushback on removing unhealthy treats, because at least that will limit the frequency and the amount of unhealthy treats that kids are getting if, if it's just one time a month. What about uh, holiday parties and other celebrations? Here are some, some ideas. Give children extra recess time instead of a party. Uh, that may be all they really want or need. Uh, arrange a treasure, a treasure hunt or a theme scavenger hunt around uh, your classroom or around the school. Think about having students bring in their favorite music and have a dance party. This is a great thing to invite the principal to and other school staff. Uh, try organizing a special community service project or, or invite a special guest to, to come demonstrate something to the classroom. To get the kids moving, set up an obstacle course or, or how about a hula hoop contest? You'll find lots of ideas for active games in the resources linked through Game On. And don't forget to take advantage of school and community resources. Uh, you can celebrate at a pool or a climbing wall or a bowling alley. Um, ask the PTO or your PTA or other community groups for assistance if funding is a concern in that area. You really want to think outside the box. Children really like adventure, so, so don't be afraid to try something new. And Game On has tip sheets for many very specific school and holiday celebrations. They include games, activities, and recipes for healthy snacks for each of these uh, events. Uh, for example, uh, make Election Day more memorable and educational with the uh, Running for President movement activity. Uh, find activities to celebrate diversity on Martin Luther King Day. 
and uh, celebrate winter holidays with the 12 days of fitness activity. Since Halloween is coming up soon, I thought uh, we, I'd show you an example of what you would find on our Halloween tip sheet. Uh, there are activities like uh, the Halloween charades that you'll see on the screen, uh, other Halloween activities, It's Alive, Move That Bone, Blob Tag, uh, and then there's always uh, recipes for healthy Halloween treats, uh, like uh, the pictures that you see, those are banana pops, the bananas. Uh, you also find recipes for a veggie skeleton, nature's candy, and a fruity spider. So uh, um, definitely recommend you check that out. There's still some time uh, for planning your Halloween parties for this year. And when food is part of a celebration or event, uh, be sure to offer a variety of healthy options and promote fruits and vegetables by arranging them in a visually appealing way. If you do have treats, offer them in small portion sizes. Try cutting them in half. Make water the beverage of choice always. You want to put it center stage and put it in front of, of any sugary drinks that you're also offering. Uh, we suggest you create sign-up sheets that list healthy items or send home a list of suggestions for healthy party snacks. Uh, you can see a sign-up sheet on the screen from uh, letsgo.org, and you can find a link to this sign-up uh, sheet in Game On. You want to pay a particular attention to food allergies and special diet needs. Work with your parents to create a list of food allergies for all students to be distributed at the beginning of the year. Uh, some schools and districts don't, aren't even allowing foods to be brought in anymore due to allergy and food safety concerns. So uh, be sure that you've checked with and you know your own district's wellness policy on this. Well, before I turn it over to April, just some final tips uh, for when you're planning your healthy celebration. One, focus on fun rather than food. Celebrations can be fun even if there is minimal food involved and, and not every celebration even needs food. Uh, two, get your students involved. Engage them uh, um, in the planning and in the prep preparation for celebrations. Let them make decorations and party favors and let them choose the games. Uh, next, movement. Movement, movement. Can't say that enough and can't probably add in too much movement, so put that in as much as possible. Ask your school staff, students, parents, uh, to send in healthy recipes and ideas for activities and games. Think about compiling these ideas into a, a book that's specific to your school that staff and parents can use. And uh, the last bullet, definitely be prepared for pushback. You know, some parents in particular are um, very invested in those, those unhealthy treats and um, they're really a creative way to express themselves and can be hard to let go of traditions that have been around for a long time. So figure out how you're gonna navigate challenges from families that don't want uh, these types of healthy changes that you're implementing. And again, go back to the benefits, mention them. Healthy celebrations provide consistent, positive nutrition messages. They promote a healthy school environment. They create excitement about nutrition. Uh, nutrition is really important for learning. And, and go back to your district wellness policy to give your initiative some credibility and use that um, to, uh, you know, to talk about how important this is to the district. So with that said, I'm really pleased I'm happy to introduce you to April Walden from Laurel Elementary School of Arts and Technology in Fort Collins, Colorado. April has been a Laurel parent for 10 years. She, and, um, in that time, she was PTO president for seven years. And uh, Laurel's very lucky because April linked wellness at, uh, at her school uh, to the PTO from her first year as president. She started a school walkathon fundraiser in 2008. And currently, she serves on uh, the Wellness Committee as well as the PTO. So I will turn it over to you now, April. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you, Carol, so much. And thanks to Action for Healthy Kids for having me on today. Um, a bit of background on our school. Laurel, um, as Carol mentioned, is in Fort Collins, Colorado. We have approximately 500 students serving pre-K through um, fifth grade. We are a Title I school, and we also um, have about 65% of our students on free and reduced lunch programs. And Carol, if we could move on. So as Carol mentioned, I am a PTO member, and also I serve on the Wellness Committee. 
Our committee is a collaborative team of parents and staff. There are about eight to 10 of us who come to a monthly meeting and uh, we're equally split between parents and staff. We are funded by the Walkathon fundraiser that Carol mentioned earlier. Early on, we really wanted to link our fundraising to healthy initiatives. And so we um, created this fundraiser and it provides a annual stipend to the wellness committee that helps us promote the activities that you'll see listed there in our objectives. We provide every student with a water bottle. Um, that is, those bottles are distributed at the time of the walkathon and they are um, they belong to the students and they are theirs for the rest of the year. We host a pick a better snack program where every month a fruit or vegetable is sent to every classroom and every student gets a chance to give those a try. We create a grant pool where anyone in the Laurel community can come to the wellness committee, ask for funds to fund a wellness initiative. We host an annual family wellness fair where we invite members of the community in the health and fitness trade to come and run a booth. We're really targeting information about happy, healthy lifestyles to each of our families. And we also try to make it really fun by uh, providing some fun activities for the kids during the fair, such as a bike rodeo. And then finally, we've really had on our radar the encouragement of healthy celebrations, as Carol has just spoke so um, eloquently about. However, we encourage students and we encourage staff members to, um, to have healthy celebrations, but we didn't really have a tool for them to use. So in the spring of last year, we applied to Action for Healthy Kids um, for a grant. And we received that grant in the form of a kit. And this kit is a party in the box. It has all kinds of fun games, like a giant twister game that you saw on the previous slide. A couple of kids were playing that. There's a beanbag toss, a Velcro mitts and balls. There's a Bluetooth speaker, a karaoke machine, a giant egg and spoon relay um, game. Just lots of really great stuff in, in this kit. And we were targeting, targeting the use of this kit for birthdays and celebrations in the classroom. Um, any kind of positive behavior reward celebrations, uh, any kind of class celebration, frankly. We also thought teachers might be able to check it out if they were having indoor recess to get the kids moving inside the classroom. Um, and we also wanted to make sure that we were using it at the wellness fair and creating a booth at our annual fair to draw attention to healthy celebrations. So um, if we could move on, Carol, thank you. So to implement um, our, our healthy celebrations, we first had to come up with a name. And we have called this thing the Go Crazy and Celebrate Kit. And then we held a mock celebration where we invited a number of students to come in and just play with the equipment. We were trying to get feedback on um, the best way that it could be utilized and come up with an idea sheet that we could hand out with our checkout form that we developed so that teachers would have an idea about the kinds of games and the things that they um, could play. Um, we then introduced our checkout form to the teachers um, at a staff meeting um, just to get their feedback, to get their bias, to get their awareness of the kit. We then sent the form home with um, all the students so that parents would be aware of the availability of the kit. And finally, we did have our annual wellness fair at the end of the year last year, and we were able to run that station um, to uh, just create more awareness of, um, of our kit. And if we could go forward, please. So on the screen before you is just a copy of the Grow Crazy and Celebrate checkout kit. We um, are uh, very excited to get it really rolling this year. We've had it check, the kit checked out about six times so far. Our committee met recently and you know, we're, we're coming up with ideas to promote the kits, including using our school broadcast, including the school newsletter. But we also came up with a really great idea, which was to make sure that every teacher had enough copies for every student. And then we asked the teachers to only send the form home if it's the child's birthday month. And we think that will really help us to make that 
that kit relevant and keep it fresh in the minds of those who are trying to plan a celebration and um, really get some more use out of it. And you can also see maybe on the form there that we are trying to get some feedback about why are you checking this kit out and how are you, you using it. And we're trying to photo document a lot of the, the, um, the times when the, the kit is checked out. So um, we're, we're new yet at using this as a tool for healthy celebrations, but we are very excited. And again, we'd just like to thank Action for Healthy Kids for um, giving us this opportunity. And we look forward to augmenting the kit, keeping it evergreen, and really just trying to transition our healthy celebration policy. Well, thank you, April. That's, that's great. I um, really like hearing how you're using it and seeing the form kind of uh, really helps I think picture, you know, how it's working. Um, and April has very graciously provided her contact information there so that if you, uh, any members of our audience are interested in learning more, learning how it goes, or, or just have any questions about how the project is being implemented at Laurel, um, feel free to reach out to April and she'd be happy to, to answer any questions. So, Absolutely. Um, and, and we hope you'll keep us posted too, April. I guess we know you'll you'll keep us posted because we'll we'll track you down uh, to find out how it's going later in the year. So um, good luck, Thank you. good luck in that implementation. So now let's uh, check in with Denise. Denise, I'm gonna unmute you and um, have. Do we have any questions that have come in? Hi, yeah, um, we just have one comment, and this is for April. Um, Ariel is interested in your Pick a Better Snack program, and um, she would like to know just briefly um, if you have a little bit more information about that. Well, we're lucky to have a Safeway very near our school, and we are working with Safeway um, to provide an in-season fruit or vegetable they actually prepare it for us, which is lovely, and then deliver it up to us. We do pay for the food, um, but we use those funds that, we, that I talked about to, to buy those snacks. And then we have parent volunteers come in and distribute um, that healthy snack once a month. And it's been incredibly popular and I think goes a long way towards getting kids to try different things. So that's not just a healthy snack. It's a, it's really it's like a taste test, really, that you're doing. Um, Definitely know, focusing on yeah. On, on Sorry, like kind of focusing on what types of yeah, what types of fruits and vegetables, or is it fruits and vegetables, or what are some of the other types of snacks you're you're using? Sometimes they will incorporate um, like a dip of some kind, maybe a hummus if they're serving oh. um, red peppers. But they really we we really try to not just say a fruit and vegetable, but do something in season. So, you know, we're getting stuff that tastes good and we're eating it at the right time of year. And um, they've been really good at, at helping us facilitate that. Great. Any other questions, Denise? No, there are not, um, not any other questions right now. All right. Well, you guys can see on the screen uh, is Action Filthy Kids email address for Game On. And uh, if any questions come up about anything we've presented or uh, any of our other resources, uh, please feel free to uh, shoot us an email and we'd be happy to uh, get back in touch with you. Before I uh, close, I do want to point out one other uh, really great resource that we are very excited about here at Action for Healthy Kids. We have, this is a brand new resource. It just, uh, it just launched on September 15th. And uh, we've been collaborating with National PTA for the past year to create this new website to help parents in particular become champions for school health. Uh, it's called Parents for Healthy Kids. And as I said, it just launched uh, last month. This is really an online hub for parents by parents. Uh, check it out for free tips and tools and inspirational stories about parents who have helped to transform their school culture. Uh, use it to connect with other parents. There's a community forum. Uh, and you can uh, communicate with parents in, in your area or across the country, and you can also learn about any trainings and, and grant opportunities that are out there. So definitely check that out. And uh, with that, we are at the um, end of our 30 minutes. I really want to thank everybody for participating in our Wednesday Wellness Webinar today, and 
course, a special thanks uh, to April for sharing Laurel Elementary's uh, Healthy Celebrations Initiative. Uh, remember, we'll, you will send a follow-up email with the recording and the resources and um, the slides uh, in about two to three business days to the email address that you registered under. And in the meantime, uh, please stay up to date on success stories, health tips, physical activity games, there's volunteer opportunities, and, and much, much more by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Flickr, and YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of healthy celebration ideas on these social media channels as well. So uh, thanks very much. Uh, happy Wednesday to everyone. Have a great afternoon.